Welcome back to Amanda Medan. We are playing as Fliss. We are on a ghost ship. This is a Shining reference, and the game is now informing me that I need to move around. I do like this cut, though. This is nice. Oh, this is this is cool. I like this. I didn't realize this was even a thing. It's time for us to investigate. What is behind this curtain? Bloody footsteps. Wait, hang on. Oh. Let's keep your head on straight. Hang on, Fliss. Go back down there. There's a potential for a clue over here, and I want to make sure I don't miss anything. Well, I've already missed a ton of stuff, but you know what I mean. I don't want to miss anything when I have the opportunity to not to. Squish, squish, squish. This carpet is wet. Like a dam. Now, can I have a permanent... Oh, a kraken. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's that's what we need, a Cthulhu. Oh, I expected far more resistance from this 40-year-old gear. Oh, uh, that's a lot of blood. Oh, man. Come on. Yeah, yeah. Game's like you got to get scared. You gotta get. You gotta go to where the scary stuff is. I'm like, man, if I just fucking stand here, can you stop me? It would make for a very entertaining episode. There's gonna be a skeleton in here, and I can't just not look. Look at the game taunting me like you can't just you can't just leave. Like, no, I gotta get content for the viewers. You're really milking it right now. Hey, it's a Oh, it's still full of blood. That's... That's odd. I expected it to be clean. These ghosts are some kind of grabby. Hello? Oh, this... Yep, see, here's your problem. This is how the blood got in. It's because of the leak in your blood wall. Yeah, you're gonna have to get some spackle on that pretty quick. Or else it's gonna ruin the drywall. Probably not. You'd probably have to replace the blood pipe first, and then replace the drill. You'll have to rip out the whole panel, basically. That's how you get mold. Oh, thank God, we're outside. Now we can climb up the exterior of the ship and not get haunted. There's no way the ghost can haunt me outside the ship. That's just that's just ghost rules. What are you loading? <laughs> oh, <laughs> when it's not a seamless transition, you can kind of tell how the how the effect is done, guys. Points for effort, though. Oh, yep. Yeah, see, you let the leak get too bad. Now you got now you got rust all up and down the wall. Let's see, water gets in. And, uh, I mean, really, that's just, that's just all she wrote when it comes to your drywall and your insulation. Uh, uh, uh. I really don't want to do this. Maybe it's nothing? It's Manchurian gold. What? Large stack boxes of crystals in Hessian bags. The words Manchurian gold since on the sign. The hold is flooded. Looks like there's been a chemical leakage in cargo hold too. A lot of a lot of inference there. Oh, that's where the leak started. Oh, oh. oh. we don't like this. Oh, this is cargo. Why? I just now realize why would a navy ship <laughs> why would a navy ship have a overlook hotel style ballroom in its bowels when instead the more logical thing to have 
it is a cargo hold. And remember the, when it said don't go into one of the cargo holds? Is this that cargo hold? Because if so... Hey, wait a minute. Didn't, um... Didn't Brad fall into this? Yo, yo, yo! I saw him! I just saw him a second ago, in the background. <laughs> hey, he did! Hi, buddy. Brad. <laughs> no, 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 no. Let's talk about this. Hey, Brad. What are you... Hey, what's wrong? What are you doing? <laughs> whoa, whoa! Bradley, Bradley, okay. Bradley. I understand you're upset at this time. What the fuck? He was overwhelmed with the desire to kill. No, don't do that! You you have bare feet. You'll get a cut. I really wish we could find our companions and then leave. I was about to say, oh yeah, this, uh, he's, Alex has boat shoes on, but there's sneaks. There's, there's sneaks with, like, hideaway socks. I think she's got sneaks with hideaway socks, too. Like, the, I don't know, I don't know what they're actually called. They're, like, the little socks that don't come up above your ankle. Can I swim up? Why am I on the plane again? Why don't I need to breathe? These and many more questions will likely not be answered. I can hold my breath for a really long time. Okay, maybe we shouldn't... Hey, yo, take the ring, dog! Are you moving? Yes. Hey, I just had a... Uh. I'm really confused. <coughs> I'm really confused. Stay down. Oh, oh my god, oh my god. Maybe he's gone? He is not. So what the fuck was that? Is that like ship, Alex? Oh my god. And blue... Yeah, it's me. Come on, let's go. Blue-shirted Fliss's ship Fliss? That's not anywhere on this boat, my guy. <laughs> like, I'm sorry. Oh my god, we're on- we're, uh, we're above decks. I can't believe this. What an amazing turn of events. This is safe? Are we good here? I mean, ish. I think... Yeah, I think we'll be alright here. That's a pretty bold statement, guy. Wait, did it take Conrad? No, it didn't take Conrad off. I was like, did it take Conrad off the list? Because if so, that's that's spoilers. That's interface spoilers. Hello, Captain Interfering with the Story. Oh, hello. Things appear to have taken a turn towards the spiritual, wouldn't you say? Have you figured out what's going on? How to stop it? 
how to save the lives of your poor, unfortunate stowaways. You will, I hope, although it seems the ship's previous occupants never managed to. Quite a lot of deaths that night. Real pity. Let me help you out. Give you a little hint. Lay it on me. I need some help. Well then, how can I put this? There may be forces at play here that are more scientific and even some that are more political, you know? Less supernatural. So there might be like a, a super weapon? I started to realize something. Made during the war? That everything and everyone Thank you. may not be quite what they appear to be. Oh, I neat hope trick. That helps. Well, aren't you excited to find out what your poor unfortunates are making of all this and how you might avoid any more unnecessary tragedy? Go on, back to it. Speak soon. Thank you, curator. Man, I hope the curator's on my side. I'd hate to be betrayed. I mean, this really is just a horror well, tabletop role-playing game there? between me and the curator. Brad, you lost your shit, like, big time. You almost killed me. What? What are you talking... Come on, no. no come on, that's ridiculous. Now, come on. What the fuck is going on with this ship? Because, I gotta be honest, it feels like there's some, like... Like, Tension? evil, like, literal evil going on down there. Let's just stay calm and relatively sane about this, okay? Okay, so let's pool our resources and all the stuff we like know. These old soldiers, they were bodies, they were dead, but then they came alive and... That doesn't sound that crazy right about now. Alex wasn't the only Alex. What are you talking about? There were things walking around with his face on them. Alex's face, it, it was horrifying. Julia, I'd never hurt you. Julia. You know that, right? No, I know. Me. It's just... me. It's me. This can't all be happening. Are you sure the only you I mean, is you? One thing could, but not all of these crazy things. It's too much of a coincidence. Coincidence? There's got to be something going on here. Yeah, ghosts. What can we absolutely be sure about. What do we know that's real? Uh, we know the gold is real. We've. Did you see the gold? Anything? Manchurian gold isn't actually gold. It's a fucking chemical, and it's leaking all over Cargo Hold too. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this isn't exactly what our friendly fishermen are expecting either. <sighs> this should go over well. Okay. Let's. Wh what do you what think exactly actually happened, happened to this place? Wish I knew. I saw 1947 on the newspaper. There was a note about a storm in the logbook. I guess they got caught in it. This place is weird. This whole place reeks of weird. Dirty, stinky, weird. And I don't like it. It's like this place is stuck in a perpetual bad feeling machine. We got nothing but bad, bad vibes. What happened to everybody on this ship? Where did they There should be way more dudes. You can't shake the feeling we're in one big floating coffin. So where'd all the corpses come from? Whoa, what was that cut? They actually look like they've been scared to death. We know more than we did before. That's something, at least. We're wasting time. Whatever we do, we have to do it now. Time to get off this ship. We're not going anywhere without the distributor cap. The Duke needs it to run. Hold on. This ship's gotta have a radio. Yeah, we know it has a radio. If we can find it and use it. That's great, but do you think it still works? Just need to find a way up there. So we just walk across the... Yeah, we just walk and climb, guys. It's fine. I'm so happy the entire team's together. You not know. Now the ghosts can't split us up and try to, like, coerce us into attacking one another with visions and hallucinations. Shit. Oh. No shit. Thanks, I think bro. we're, uh, speaking clinically, totally effed. Totally effed. As long as we don't go inside, we can't break line of sight and then have things change on us. Like, because that's when the scariness happens, when we lose line of sight to things. Is that a lifeboat? 
Hey, yo, but why didn't they use this, though? Great. Could've used these if they weren't Swiss cheese. They got shot up by something. Did they? Or is that rust? There has to be an exterior stairway around here somewhere. It'd make no sense to have to go back inside the ship when you can just walk around the outside. Find a way up? Sadly, no, but I'll keep my eyes open. Yeah, don't strain yourself, Fliss. I swear, when I'm not in control of these guys, they're just the worst. Hello. All right, who's giving me a boost? Hey, a little help over here. There's your exterior stairway, I guess. I think this is our way up. Give me a look. Yep. Thank you. I'll pull you up. Oh, that teamwork climb. Where do we see that teamwork climb? Was that in a Resident Evil? It was in some horror game where they like laid their entire body down on the ground and then did like a push-up while they pulled you up. Is there another flight of stairs we can just take over here? Is that wishful thinking on my part? It appears that is the case. Oh, I see. Yeah, the walkway. Okay, yeah. <sighs> right. This is a textbook definition of malevolent architecture. Hell, if this thing's a genius loci, it actually is malevolent and intentionally so don't do anything scary don't do anything scary why would you put a camera in here if you didn't want to do anything scary hey nothing scary happened ha i knew it subvert subvert tropes on my watch eh i don't think so this is a nice shot i like this cinematography is great in this game what up Right, okay. Good talk. Yeah, I see the glimmer. Going to it. Over here! <laughs> Gotta wait through here. Can we force it? Yes, okay. It's just rusty. Oh no, it's not. There's a thing. Oh, okay. So that door. W Shut up, Brad. That door was automatic because of, a, of an external source, not because of ghosts. But all the other ones, you should have been upset about. Uh, hello, a corpse that I cannot examine. Don't do anything scary. This is the bridge, right? It doesn't expressly mean that he's dead. Also, does that imply that there's an ending where all of the fishermen and all of the sexy 20 something survive? No, but there's got to be a radio on this ship. There there has to be. Yeah, we'd be up one more floor, guy. What this? Planned route. Actually, wrong here. If you were headed to San Francisco, you'd be crazy to take this route. It's almost like they didn't want anyone to know they were coming. Like hide and seek out in the ocean. Why would they do this? I'm slowly piecing these mysteries together. I'm pretty clueless, but it does feel like you could potentially find all the secrets and put the. Put the clues together. Uh, ship was blown off course. Cloud cover was bad. They couldn't establish a position. Report of hold two flooded, huh? Shallow waters location. Shallow waters and then 
40 minutes or so later, Seabed Death will leave Uncharted. Search for crew member overheard. Search called off. You guys gave up after eight minutes? That's seriously like, he went over. That radio is still going and it's going to do something scary. Ah, uh, I guess the mast was one floor up. No freaking way. This thing actually still works? Well, radio science hasn't changed much in 70 years. As long as there's power. I'll give it a whirl. How is there still power? Ah, it's working. It's a number station. Ooh, those things are scary. Military bandit. Let's ask them for help. No, there's no one there. Hey, hey, is anyone out there hearing this? Hello? Wait, there was somebody at the number station? We got him. Uh, yes, our coordinates are this. If you can hear us, we're on a ship, an old freighter. Our coordinates are approximately uh, 12 degrees, 30 minutes south, 151 degrees, 30 minutes west. I refuse, to, I refuse west. to be frantic. Please, get here now. We need help. All that's coming through is screaming. We're on a freighter, abandoned, huge and old. Hello? Hello? Is anyone out there? Please, come in! Should have asked for a call and response. We don't know if that was a ghost. Hey! Come here, look! This has got to lead somewhere. Maybe we can find a way to get the power back. We need to get that radio working. I think someone should wait here in case a message comes through. I'll go, obviously. I can do this. I should be the one to go. Hey, little bro. What's up? I'm thinking you might deserve a promotion. How's medium bro sound? Medium bro. What are you, what are you talking about? You stepped up to the plate. Put yourself right in the line of fire. I'm still not gonna let you go. There. Not if the pitch is a machine gun. <laughs> I'm impressed. Seriously. See, this is what I like about these these games so, so far. Is that like sometimes the dialogue is really cheesy, but sometimes it's very heartwarming. Hey, you can do this, man. You sure up for it? I believe you got it, bro. I'm coming too. Hey, what? Julia, no. Uh, Wait, sudden no swerve. Be there to protect the guy. I can handle this. Trust me. Whoa, whoa. If Julia says she can handle it, she can handle it. Case closed. Okay, Julia. It's you and I. So I bet if Alex had gone, it would have been uh, him and Fliss. Wow. <laughs> Zero to disaster in almost an instant. Alright, we're going to have to see how bad this turns out in the next episode of Man of Medan. If you enjoyed this as much as I did, uh, please do remember to follow me on Twitch and subscribe to me on YouTube. Hit that bell for more videos like this every single weekday. You can find me on social media at the Siege Andrew, on Twitter and Mastodon, on Facebook.com slash S15 Studios. If you like playing tabletop games, I have a couple of tabletop role-playing games that are available. Just pay what you want on itch.io at s-15studios.itch.io. You can find more of the stuff I make, including my short fiction at s-15studios.squarespace.com. I want to thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next episode of Man of Medan.